Hey everybody, and thanks for coming back for another puzzle. This time I have the Couch Lock Puzzle from Oblivious Art Designs on Etsy. You can check them out down here. Uh, it's the first one I've ever gotten from them, uh, so I'm excited to check it out, see what kind of stuff a new uh, creator can, can put our way. So it looks like a couch, and the goal is to get into it. So, here we go. All right, so we've got this dovetail on the top here. Uh, I'm guessing the back, this whole section of the back will come off. And then this will come out. We've got these two notches on here. So I think once we get the dovetail out, this whole back section will pull out this way. We've got this green on this side, this green on this side. Uh, and I can see in between the couch cushions here that it's a rod that travels through. Uh, on the bottom with the couch cushions we have these three dovetails. Uh, I suspect that's going to be our first move is to slide these around. And now is this. So this one comes out the farthest. Now I can't get it back in though. Wonder if there's some kind of. So I think we're gonna have to get the cushions out, get this rod out, take the back of the couch off, and then we can take this out. So why can't I get it back in now though? Just out of you know curiosity to see how it functions. I guess we can figure that out when we open it. What was this attached to? That it, I wonder if there's some kind of do it at an angle. It is to go back in, and then this one doesn't. Weird. So the rod has this little U cutout on it, uh, and on the side of the couch there's also a U. So I wonder if we're gonna we'll get some kind of little tool to rotate it. We'll line those up. And then maybe it'll pull out. I don't know. I'm just just guessing. So why can't I get this one back in now? It's very strange. There's something right here behind this cushion. It's not attached to... It doesn't move in and out when I move this cushion in and out. And I can't... Let's see. In the back. So why can't I get this one back in? That's kind of driving me insane. I want to know like how I... Oh, did that push? Pushed a little bit. And it's not flush with the surface anymore over here. You can see as I'm pushing on it that these two cushions. So these are all tied to each other somehow in terms of pulling them out. As if there's some sort of pattern. I still can't get this one back in. That's so bizarre. What the heck did I do? That I was able to pull it out, but cannot push it back in. I don't want to break it. I just push this down a little bit. Uh, I think that's just incidental.
Oh. Now it's coming out on this side, you can see. I wonder if there's like an internal, if there's a, a maze on this rod that I have to work these seats through. No, it doesn't want to. So when these two are in and this one is out, or while I did, I could push it a little bit. Okay, now I can't pull these cushions out. I can't grab this either. I can't push or pull the cushions out. I can push the rod back in. Yeah, so it seems like there's a maze of some sort. These all have vertical pegs. And when you have them in a certain position... I thought it was with this one in. This one in. There we go. I don't know if this is cheating, but I can't, I just can't get my finger in far enough to push it out. And I couldn't grip it enough on this side, so that's, I mean, maybe that's cheating a little bit, but I, you know, I couldn't, couldn't get it out. Rotates a little bit right here. Now I can't get these cushions out. Oh, okay. So here's okay. Here's our first. So we have a cross here. I guess we'll see how this functions when we get this rod out. I have to go back now. So to get the cushions out, I have to get the rod all the way out. Let's see if I can see what's going on in here. I can kind of see what's going on. So that can rotate there and there. So there's three of these notches here, and it can rotate inside of this cross. So when you line the notch up with the cross, you can rotate the... I'm almost there. It's right just flush with the... We need to rotate it, maybe this way, oh there's a, what is that, there's a, uh, I don't know if it'll show up, a vertical piece right there, so it can go through the cross, so it's a maze of sorts, so the vertical piece was coming through here on the cross, so there must be this cross must not have, because uh, it's facing up, an opening on the top right now. And that's why... So now I need to rotate it to get it through. I can kind of see, I can almost see what's happening here. I just need a little bit more space. So I want to use this notch to rotate it.
Let me go back. Maybe I have to go back the other way. Let me go back this way. If I can get it, if I can get it through the hole, this hole, then I can push the rod this way. I'm not going to be able to get the rod, this rod totally out of here because of that vertical notch. There's no way for it to... And it can't rotate here because of these back and front plates. It won't, you can see it won't let me rotate it past. If I can get it back in this hole though, then I can slide it this way and use this opening to rotate it. I need to like lift this up a little bit to be able to get it back into this hole here. There we go. So, oops. I don't know if that's considered cheating, but uh, you know, I can't get it back up. And I can't get it to go this way any further. to get it to this point to rotate it. There's something blocking it. Oh, maybe not. I think the tolerances are just a bit too tight. I can't push it with my finger and I can't grab it. There we go. So I can use this opening to rotate it. So I don't, you know, I don't know if that's considered cheating, but I can't. There we go. Here's our second one. I mean, if you can't get it open, what are you gonna do? You know. So if you want to call it cheating, call it cheating. But Okay, I can't get to go any further this way because that notch is up against the side of the couch here. Once again, I'm going to have to Come on, we're right there. It just needs to come out another step. Why won't it come out another step? Wait, is there two? Is that what it is? There we go. Okay. So yeah, you use the openings from the, from the, uh oh, I hope these are all, this one was on the far side because it has this bigger cutout in it. These two are the same, are they? Yeah. So this one was over here because it's got this larger, and you use the openings from the seats to rotate this. Uh, so I think you could just use a little bit of sanding, polishing, to make this just a little bit easier to... Alright, but now we've got it all the way over here. We've got this. 
which is it pushed down? Looks like it's gonna push. There we go. It pops up. Now can I grab this? No, oh, then I can push the whole thing in. Then does it pull up again? Then pulls out. Uh, so there you go. Not bad. I would say good, uh, you know, first attempt. I, I, don't, I don't think he has any other puzzles. Uh, but the, t the tolerances on this are just a bit too much. You can't, you know, I shouldn't have to use another tool to, to get this to go back into the, to get it to go in or out of this. Let's go ahead and reset it. So that was the couch lock puzzle. Uh, closing thoughts. Solid. Could use just a little bit of polishing to make sure that this, this rod and these seats function a little bit better. Uh, but other than that, nice idea. Uh, straightforward. Not, not too terribly challenging. I think if it was just polished and this functioned just a little bit better, it would be a really great puzzle. I uh, look forward to any other future ones that may come from... Mr. 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 or Mrs. Uh, Oblivious. Again, check the link out for them down below. Uh, so that's it for this one. Bluetooth app, Moonplay Cosmetics. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.